evening and welcome to this news edition. The agents of the law and order got their hands on the collar of the famous bandit Blaise Taylor, aka Graffiti, and his accomplice Apollimar Emilio on the night of September 5th in Frenesino in Saint Marc in the department of Artibonit. According to the spokesman of the police institution, they are accused in the shooting death of the parish priest Watson Louis in Saint Mark on July 27th and for a burning vehicle in the town hall of the commune. The police also recovered a vehicle used by the gangsters in the town of Savia with whom they exchanged fire. Michelangelo Louis Jeanne said at a press conference on Monday at the local branch of the HNP in Pétionville. As for the department of Artibonite, we learned that individuals had placed two trucks on National Highway 1 near a desolate lane portion. This had paralyzed traffic there. Jocino Saul Emmanuel Pieta, second doorman of the Curaçao football team, died in a hotel in Port-au-Prince on Monday morning. He is believed to have suffered a stroke. The 31-year-old Emmanuel Pieta arrived in the capital on Sunday as part of the return leg of the CONCACAF Nation League, scheduled for September 10th at the Silvio Cator Stadium. Shy resumption of school activities on September 9th in several parts of the country. The resigning Minister of National Education has officially launched the start of the new year in Wood de Frere in Pétionville. On occasion, Pierre Josué Agenor Cadet acknowledged the seriousness of the social economic crisis, the consequences of which are enormous for the majority of the population. However, the government will support poor parents in the face of their setbacks, reports Pierre Josué Agenor Cadet. The junior minister once again lambasted the editors of the publishing house for not meeting their commitments under the grant and equipment program. For her part, the headmistress of the National School of Frères, Marie Régine Joseph Pierre, welcomed the choice of the institutions premises uh, to launch uh, the new school year, it encourages all the concerned group to work to ensure the success of this period. <laughs> Parliamentarians were scheduled to meet in the National Assembly since noon to close the second regular session of the 50th Parliament. It was late in the afternoon that very few of them were present on this chamber. The deputies will go on holiday. In the absence of an election, this legislature will not be renewed on the second Monday of January 2020. In the meantime, for the deadline, the President of the Republic will always be able to summon these elected representatives to the extraordinary. Abroad, a powerful typhoon hit the Tokyo area on Monday morning. A 50-year-old woman was killed after hitting a wall swept away by the power of the wind while crossing a street. According to surveillance camera footage, a statement of the Megalopolis Police Department, more than 30 people were injured in the area, including one seriously after a golf training structure collapsed and the roof of his home collapsed. Nearly 400,000 people are affected by the evacuation orders and several hundred thousand homes have been without power. Some infrastructure has spilled on homes or on rails. As a result, transport is severely disrupted. Dozens of flats were canceled, as were about 100 high-speed train connecting Tokyo to cities in the central and western Japan. Pope Francis is in Mauritius, the last stop on his tour of Africa in the Indian Ocean and to religious dialogue in the spotlight. He arrived in Port Louis on Monday morning from Madagascar. He was greeted in the rain by Mauritian Prime Minister Pravin Kumar Janath on the program of this flash visit, a late morning mass on the heights of the capital, the Pope is then to meet with the civil and religious authorities of this island. 
The island which has a population of 1.3 million is known for the cohabitation of people by the faith of Hindus, Muslim, and Christians, who coexist rather harmoniously. Pope Francis is here to encourage interreligious dialogue as John Paul did in 1989. That's all the news for now. Thank you for watching. And if you would like to rewatch this news edition, you may do so at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and RadioTelepacific.com. You may also watch it on cable channel 384 for the Bahamas Island. And from all of us at Info Pacific, have a good night.